how's everybody doing today? So I want to do another recipe. We're going to be doing bone broth. I don't have my camera woman with me here today. She's at work. So I'm going to attempt to do this myself. So let me quickly go over the ingredients. So the way that I like to make this is to use bone marrow bones. So I have three of those there. They're actually already cut in half. I have some stew beef. I'm not going to use them all. Just a few of those. I got an onion. I got some leek, carrots, garlic, celery, parsley, and I'm going to also use turmeric and this uh, umami, which this these ingredients aren't really that necessary. Like say these, the thing that's really necessary here is the bones because this is a bone broth. I'm adding extra things just to give it a little bit more flavor and, and it'll taste a lot more delicious. And don't want to forget, we're also going to use black pepper and a little bit of sea salt. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do here is get an oven safe pot. I got this one here, and we're gonna put a little drop of olive oil in there. That should be good enough. Now I'm gonna grab my marrow bones, and that's gonna go right into the pot. Damn, these things are pretty big. Whew. And on top of that, we're also gonna add some of these stew beef chunks, which were already pre-cut. Now these have a little bit of fat on them, so that's actually good. I'm gonna add maybe just a few more because I'm gonna do some other recipes with this leftover beef that I have here. A little bit more. All right, that should be good. All right, so I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. There's the pot. And that's gonna actually go in the oven for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna, I don't know, the timer just, uh, temperature just hit. So that's going in. This is so hard to do. All right, the bones and beef are in there and that's gonna go in for a half an hour. So while that's cooking in the oven, I wanna kind of break down a few things. So I mentioned the vegetables earlier. Those are gonna go actually towards the end when the beef and the bones have cooked for at least six to seven hours. Now with bone broth, you typically do wanna cook it for a really long time because it's gonna break down the bone, all the minerals and nutrients are gonna be absorbed into the broth and it's just a healthy meal or a healthy thing to drink. So later on, we'll be messing with this. We still have to do a few more things with the beef and the bones. So after that's done, after 30 minutes, I'll come back and we'll do the next steps. So that's a half an hour. And now the bones and the beef are done, so we're gonna take them out. Good smell, it smells good already. Give you a peek at that. Whew. So I did forget one thing. We're actually gonna to have to use apple cider vinegar. So the apple cider vinegar is not 100% necessary for this, but it does help. So what the apple cider vinegar does, it helps break down um, the bone. Uh, it helps extract more minerals and nutrients from the bone, the marrow and the beef. So we're only gonna add a little bit of that. So first thing I wanna do is add some cold water. We're gonna fill up the whole pot. And at this point, I'm gonna put the apple cider vinegar. We're looking at about, I don't know, a few drops, not too much. That's probably, eh, a little bit more. That's good. And top it off with all the water. Okay. Now all we wanna do is let this sit in the cold water for another 30 minutes. Eh, we could do, we could do 20 minutes. We'll let it sit for 20 minutes in the cool water. Let that kind of break down a little bit, cool off let that apple cider vinegar do its magic. And then after 20 minutes, we'll come back, we'll turn on the heat, and that's where we're gonna have to sit there and watch the pot cook for about eight hours. All right, so it's been sitting in the cool water for 20 minutes. You can see what it looks like now. Now, basically, the next step is to just turn it on the gas, the heat, whatever you have. I don't have gas. <laughs> I keep saying gas just because I'm used to saying that. And we're going for like a medium, a medium low. You don't want it to boil too hard. You want it to have literally like a, just a slow, slow simmer. You don't want it to boil. So now this is just gonna sit here till it's uh, 2.46. So I'm, I'm ending this video probably at around 10 p.m. tonight. Once I do start seeing a slight little boil starting, I'm gonna add the onion and then also the garlic. And in the meantime, it just has to do its thing. So I've had it on a low boil for a little while now. Every now and then you're probably gonna see that there's gonna be this gunky stuff at the top. So you can kinda, if you want, just scoop that out. 
So yeah, every now and then you might end up having a bunch of stuff at the top. So just go in, scoop it out, and just toss it. Now at this point, I like to add in the garlic. All I did was just chop that in half. The skin doesn't matter because later at the end we're gonna be straining the whole thing. And I also have all these onions. I'm gonna do the same thing, just put those in now. A little bit more. And at this point, I'm also gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt. Later after this is cooked for a little while, We'll actually give it a little taste to see what it tastes like, and then if we need more salt, we'll do it. And I'm going to add black pepper. And I'm also going to add turmeric. Not too much. And some of that umami, which I was showing you earlier. Not important. You don't need this, but I like to add it. And then just give that a nice little slow mix. It already smells really good. I can't wait to have some of this tonight, actually. So now I just have the bone broth sitting there on a low, very low, small little simmer. And that's just going to cook until tonight. And I guess like an hour before, I'm going to go ahead and actually add in the vegetables. So that's going to be like, it says 3.59 now. It's at around 9 o'clock, I'd say. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some vegetables. Maybe, maybe 8.30, we'll see. Okay, so it's been a few hours now and... Diana's back home so she can film. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock and uh, I got my vegetables all cut up here and I didn't mention this before but I did find or happened to find somewhere under my uh, other vegetables there uh, a turnip so I cleaned that up cut it up and then again just to show you I have a uh, celery leek <laughs> I ended up cooking something else for dinner so that's all the carrots that are left <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's going right in so I got the leek make sure to clean that really well because they can be really dirty in there so that's the leek, the turnip. And I think I'm going to let this cook for another two hours. So it's 8 o'clock. We're going until 10 o'clock. Um, and then when there's a half an hour left, I'm going to add the parsley. I did taste it a few times. It tastes delicious. I can't wait till it's done and it gets extra flavor from all these vegetables. All right, so the bone broth has been cooking for a really long time now. It's actually 10.30, so I'm like a half an hour off. <laughs> but I got my parsley here. I'm gonna put it in the soup and then just mix it all up in there. All right, so we have the fresh parsley in the bone broth. That's just gonna give it an extra delicious flavor in there. Um, so I just wanna mention real quick, so this is probably something that you wanna actually start early in the morning and then just let it cook all day because the longer you cook this, the more delicious it's gonna be and then the more concentrated it's gonna be. All right, so the parsley's been there for a half an hour. All right, the bone broth is all done. What I'm gonna do is just let it cool off and once it's done cooling off, I'm gonna strain all the vegetables, all the meat and the bones and then I'm gonna just jar it. Hey, so it's a new day. I'm ready to taste my bone broth. See how it is. Still really hot, but wow, that is delicious. So good. So that's what I do. I just drink it like this, and then I'll also use it in certain recipes, like if I want to make rice or a different soup. Um, you could do a ton of things with bone broth. It's just so super concentrated with that flavor that it's just so good, and it makes any recipe taste delicious. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish this up, start editing this video, and uh, get it up as soon as possible. Thanks for checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next recipe. Bye.